All right. Ghani Kai de Balogun is joining us. GKB, thank you for staying with us. Thank you very As much. The 2023 general election. Sorry, um, it's a good music uh, follower. Barry, 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 Barry Star, Barry Star so expert. He says yes, Barry Star is part. He even looks, he even looks facially like, like Barry Star. So anytime yeah, we are no, doing, please don't tell them. Yeah. For don't Barry. tell them it's my uncle. <laughs> <laughs> he won't join us in singing uh, yeah. overdose. But, uh, <laughs> really, he can my, sing. my son is uh, he's a hip hop, hip -hop artist. Wow, oh, that's good. Just like Barry Star's two sons, also doing hip hop. Yeah. Uh, I think uh, this one too is doing hip hop. Uh, um, Colinton's son too. Okay. That fat. No, that's Barry. That's sings, Barry J. He sings, uh, uh, Big Daddy. Big Daddy. Mm. Uh, he sings hip hop as well. Big Sharif, yeah. The person, uh, the mm. one uh, with. Um, I don't know who. The Barry Star one is Barry J. We don't know who's on. Uh, who, it, was, it was very popular. Was Barry, it's Barry. Uh, He's a Colinton son. And that's Big Sharif. Mm. Well, this okay. huge. Yes. Fellow, yeah. The, the woman that I want to remember. And, uh, <laughs> Salawa. Yeah. Salawa, Ben. Yeah. Salawa son. Yes. Salawa. Colinton. Colinton. You might not know that part. I know, I know what, I know what. <laughs> they were not there when they were planning it. All right, moving on now. As the 2023 general elections draws nearer, a gloomy cloud has been cast over the preparation for the polls. Terrorists struck in Castina State at the weekend when they killed 42 members of the vigilante group, popularly called Jan Sakai. President Mamadou Buhari has condemned the killing. Meanwhile, one person's one person was killed, two others injured, and about 10 women abducted when terrorists attacked Tundu Magaji community in Kontagora local government area of Niger State. Judy, this is quite difficult. We've been getting figures, but it's sad enough that when we thought that we stemmed the tide of banditry, violence, and all sorts of um, um, vices in the north, we'll see how... Terrorists killing 42 people, vigilantes in one day. You know, the, in the Northwest, the conflict between the Ensa Kai and the bandits is an unending one. Um, the it's Ensa like Kai. Uh, this is here, Amoteku, have it? No, these are vigilantes. Mm, this is not really Amoteku. No, Amoteku okay. is government. Uh, okay. Okay. Organized and all that, the law backs Amoteku mm -hmm. now. But in the case of these guys, they are volunteers, took it upon themselves to read, to fight um, protect, uh, and yeah. confront these guys. And sometimes when these killings happen, you know, the Ensakai are originally Hausa boys. You know, I've said before that this banditry began as an ethno, um, an ethnic conflict mm. between the Fulani and the Hausas. Mm. The Hausas are largely into farming. farming. The Fulani, into Katu, Riani, yes. and all that. Mm. So when the their Katu destroy uh, people's crops, they are bound to fight back. The people who have lost their crops are bound to fight back. So the, the, this Ainsa Akai, were the vigilantes that the uh, Hausa uh, farmers came up with to ensure that this kind of things uh, stop. But we now we have a situation in which it led to killings and reprisals, killings and reprisals. So some governments had to ban the Ensakai. For example, the governor, the current governor of uh, um, uh, Zamfara State. One of the first things he did was to say, look, I've banned Ensa Kai because every time they avenged killing by um, headsmen, it led to greater killings because those ones who just come into a community, they are not going to ask questions. And they are not even likely to see the so-called Ensa Kai. They will just kill innocent people. So the government then felt, okay, let's stop this. Let's stop these guys from operating. Maybe... That way, this killing of our people in their communities will stop. Reprisal killings, you know, revenge killings. So now the bandits don't like to see these guys. Because even some of the weapons they use, they dread those weapons. Mm. Weapons manufactured by them. They dread, they fear them. What they did, this, this, this case was like an ambush. And you know ambush, 
as a, um, a weapon or a, a, a strategy by, by the military can cause the death of, even no matter how organized the army is, yeah. it's difficult to, to, to fight off an ambush. Because Surprise attack. The, yes, the, you, you, they, they are seeing you, but... You, you, you will not know where they are. Mm, that element so of surprise. That, you catch them by surprise. You always so see. When uh, Boko Haram killed more than 100 uh, Chadian soldiers, it was it was a, a surprise attack. Mm. So this this one too was an ambush. They were going to confront these guys who are stolen cattle, but they knew they expected them. Maybe they got information oh. that they were coming, so they were lying in wait for them. Mm. They ran into the ambush. And in any case, they are never as equipped as the bandits. The bandits have money to buy uh, weapons. <laughs> These ones have money to local buy uh, this charms, local thing guns and the rest yeah, of them. They now do mm. some improvement. That's so why, for me, it is not uh, we we cannot keep allowing these guys to die. In Niger State, the bandits have killed so many vigilantes. That's why when you hear some Nigerian governor say. People should conf uh, confront them. People should arm themselves. You know that this is a, a silly suggestion. Even ban uh, the Ensa Kai with their weapons, these guys have a way of killing them. In uh, in um, Tebi State, they killed about 80 in one day. You don't have the weapons that they have. Some of these people have RPG um, AA and others. You don't have. They even have trucks. Gun trucks. Yes, they have gun trucks of their own. Sometimes they seize from, uh, yeah. uh, from the uh, army. So why should anybody expect that somebody carrying their gun will be able to confront a better prepared and a better armed uh, opposition? GKB, we thought this thing was, uh, this, the menace was, um, the activities was coming down in terms of the frequency and everything. But why is this still happening? Well, there will always be a lull in any war. Whether you are talking about banditry or you are talking about full scale war. Even during the Nigerian Civil War, there were months when no, no gun was fired. For months. So that's to be expected. My challenge to this is all what I've said on this program before. Until the governors in the North decided on their own that the time is right to arm these people adequately, give them legal backing. In short, create... Not the governors, because so fire has burned. Hold, hold on. The governors it's an exclusive have, thing. Hold on. Listen now. Because it's been done in the Southwest. You take people and you equip them enough. They can never be as good as the bandits. But with the support of the state, they can deter reasonably for the real people to come in and take charge. And I'm telling you from personal experience. Because you know what the vigilantes and the hunters the Southwest have done. Since the attack on Lagos, you know what they've done to clear the forest to ensure that the place is relatively safe. And they were, not, they were there for us even before the attack. So this same thing applies when you are, but if you are running away from the reality that this is an ethno something conflict that dates back over 100 years, and you don't go to the root, we need to pretend to ourselves that this will end. This attack will be revenged. Yes. So that one is certain. Yes. So because this are, to them, and then so. we go back to the circle again. Because don't forget, the cattle runners first started bearing arms when their cattle were being roasted mm. regularly. And then they start pushing their, their cattle onto farms because they could no longer have the route that they were reserved for them. Because, uh, they because were looking the, for anywhere there was good. So because pasture. development has mm. taken over. Pasture. What was normally a cattle route, uh, part of Nigeria. So unless government decide to be honest with itself and solve that original problem, this is just another blip in the war that will last okay. under the years. Is Louis still there? Louis from Lagos. Thank you for joining us. Uh, thank you. Today, thank you so much. Good evening. Um, yeah. Thank Go ahead. you so, so much. I actually like your program. I have to, uh, yeah. Thank you. I have to look at uh, what I'm, I'm doing to come and join this program. It is something that's very, uh, that's very interesting, and uh, I wish uh, our leader can actually tap into such a program where people are talented, 
irrespective of the region they belong to, make sure that you market them. Give each region what they are good at. Work towards them and improve on whatever they are good at as is genuinely good country. Don't look at a particular session in from this session because they are good at this thing. You cannot market it. So we, we need a leader that can actually look at all the regions and tap in, into the area that they are good at develop the area. Thank you. Thank you, Louis. Please talk about music. Mm -hmm. My fear is that I don't want government to get too involved. But you already know it now. They set up regulations and start applying federal character. And all these things these boys and girls are doing will disappear. You just leave them alone, let them aspire and get whatever they want. You don't and have to the money. Time, our national team. You, you, you'll be surprised. <laughs> I know Nigeria. I know what happened when they were trying to control certain things. Before you know it, somebody will say, okay, we are not represented here. Okay, back to, the, back to the back to our discussion because this same casino, the All Progressive Congress, that are there today for the rally and at the height of it all, it's been Casina Zanfara, you know, Niger. competing at Niger. In terms of the number of I, I don't envy Governor Masari because throughout almost <coughs> eight years he battled these bandits. And you know the kind of money that you could spend on. Development. Development. You are spending on security. You know how much the um, casino state has spent on the armed forces. Allowances every month, you know. Um, web, uh, buying um, uh, patrol vehicles for them. They want all the soldiers and other people drafted to that place. The government reimburses allowances and all that. That money could have gone to um, somewhere else, you know, to bring development uh, closer to our people. But security is eating deep into the finances of state, and it's, a, it's something to be worried about. Because the same thing they do to is this same is this same local government that terrorists stormed and kidnapped those students, those uh, uh, boys, two years ago. Yeah. Is this same Kankara? Because there is a, a forest that stretches, I mean, passes through that um, local government. And where you have those forests, those are the local governments that these guys are troubling in Casino State. Dusima, uh, Basari, um, this uh, Kankara, and others. They're troubling them because they have where to hide. The forest provides uh, uh, cover for them. So, <clears throat> I don't know what we will do with our forests, including forests that we left unattended for years. Look at Niger, part of the national park, the Kanji Lake National Park. These boys have entered. That's a national treasure that in the past people enjoyed going. There. Now, that is where these boys are now. That was how we left Sambisa. Sambisa was a game reserve. We left it. Unattended for years. Now Boko Haram, when you mentioned Sambisa, people remember Boko Haram because that is their habitation. So I don't know what we need to do now to keep this forest safe. Check out even that stretch, the little stretch on the Kaduna Abuja Highway where kidnapping is taking place. It's just the area. Is that part of the road that is heavily forested? That's where you see those boys. The other area, the kidnappings don't happen anywhere else. <coughs> because Savannah. Yeah. The kidnappings don't happen, or the, they don't happen anywhere except the area where uh, is, that is heavily forested and it links Niger State all mm -hmm. the way from. Um, that Kaduna Road. Yes, it, it, it leads straight to Niger State. That's where they are kidnapping people. So I don't know. It's not uh, to have to have forest should not be something that no, normally a country should be bothered about. But in our own case, that is what provides foliage, provides cover for these bandits. Anywhere that uh, there is forest, you can be sure that, oh, they will be happy. I know some local governments in Zamfara, for example, where bandits don't disturb them. Those are local governments where they don't really have uh, a forest. But others, where you have thick forest, uh, that is where they stay. They kidnap our people, they take them to those forests. What has happened now? 
since the president said he wants to end this insecurity before he leaves office, and the president has only a few months left, mm. it is his state that they've gone to now to kill 40 something vigilantes. Some are even saying it's higher than that mm -hmm. because those boys stepped in to try to stop Katu Rosley. The president must know at this time that there's still a lot of work to be done. Mm -hmm. He is nowhere close to ending, ending this thing as he promised. So he has to take steps, get down to brass tacks, and tell the military that, look, there is so much left for you to do. Because we can't be reading about this kind of killing of 40-something people. It's a national calamity. I don't understand. It's, it's a it's national... Uh -uh. In the other part of the world, if this will happen, they will just declare the days of money. Is it days of money alone? <laughs> what happened just... when uh, people died um, um, during that Champions League match? Liverpool, Juventus. Okay. Yeah, the know. government fell. Mm. You know? Over football related the stampede and all that. The government, the government fell as a result. I can tell you that elsewhere, this kind of thing, if 40-something people killed, elsewhere, Let's rule. Let's will massively rule. In fact, what happened in uh, Sri Lanka? Immediately it happened, the defense, defense. minister, that uh, terrorist uh, um, attack. The, the defense uh, minister left. He did not even wait to be told to go. He had to go.